back or to those who are new, welcome. I'm Vanessa, this is Life Mentoring. If you like the video, remember to do that um, like tick thing at the end and subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, then you'll know every time there's a new video up. Now, today's topic is rewards. So what we like to do here at Life Mentoring is we are here to help you. I'm trying to shortcut everything for you so you can gain from everything that I've learned. Then we can help you have a happier life. You know where like life flows and it's easier and get away from all this overwhelm that we're having today. Like so many things we have to do and we're just feeling like overwhelmed and bombarded and where do we start? So here's where you start with your rewards. What's the point of what you're doing? What do you get from it? And do a follow up next week. Next week's going to follow up is going to be more about the planning side. But today, let's stick to why do you do what you do? So every behavior that we do, there's a reason why we do it. But we don't really think about this sometimes. We just do, 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 we should or whatever, or it's part of our job. But what we do now is we create awareness. That's the first step. Create the awareness. Why are you doing this behavior? What are you getting out of it? Because otherwise what happens is we just feel really, really disappointed with our day because you don't know what you got from it. So what's the point? So if you feel overwhelmed, disappointed with your day, let's look at why you're doing what you're doing. So let's look at the reward for you. All right, first four types of reward. There is the intrinsic rewards, and these are what comes from you, from within. Like, you know when you go, oh God, I did so well, or I'm so proud of myself. Now, some of you might not know that one. You might look for extrinsic rewards. That means you want something from someone outside of you. You're looking for someone else to give you a pat on the back or say, well done. And the rewards come in two different types. There's tangible rewards, yeah, so these are the ones like, you know, when you get a gift, box of chocolate or roses, um, and then there's the um, intangible ones. So this might be when you say get a promotion at work, so they're not a physical item. All right, so what we wanna look at is why you do what you do and what you're getting out of it, and whether that makes you feel good. Like, are you getting what you need from it? All right, so four types of reward. We wanna work out what it is you want. So I've created a little exercise that I would like you to do if you get pen and paper and you can pause the video and make three columns. Think about in the first column, what did you do today or yesterday? Write it down, every behavior that you did. And then we're gonna look at why you did it. What was the point? So it was either a short-term thing or it's part of your long-term goal. But I wanna create the awareness about why you did it. And what did you get for it? What was the reward? Did you feel good about it? What made you feel good about it? Okay, so just to recap three columns, what you did, why you did it, and what you got from it. And then we can look at how you can improve that. So was that really what you want? Could you get a better feeling out of it? Or actually, you might find that some of the things you did have no point at all. All right, so we can save you your to-do list now. Let's scratch that one off the list. If you didn't gain from it, if there was no point behind it, let's get rid of it. All right, so the next thing is the rewards that you're getting, like actually what you get. Is that really what you want? And is that an instant reward? You get it there and then. Or the problem with today's society, we like everything to be instant. And when some things are not, it's called delayed gratification and we're really not so good at this because we want it now. So I'm gonna give you just an example of delayed gratification. So this is when people go on a diet, okay? They want to lose weight. So they start dieting and at first it might be great, they, they look at the scales, they, you see what you're getting, and then you plateau. And that's when your motivation wanes a little bit because it's like, well, why am I doing this? I'm not getting an instant reward. So in those cases, you must remember that actually what you're trying to get is, is delayed. It's what's down the line, it's the long term. And this can trip a lot of people up. So working out what you want, 
what you're getting and how you can tweak that to make it fit so that you feel better and you feel more fulfilled. Remember, okay, so if it's an intrinsic thing, that's when you say to yourself, oh, wow, I did really well, I'm really pleased with myself. That's fine, it's in your control. But when you're wanting an extrinsic reward, so when you want other people to say well done to you, that's trickier getting something from someone else. But one little tip, you can ask. Yeah, you can. You can say, hey, look what I did. Didn't I do well? Like flag it up. People are so, so busy. They might not notice or they might forget. And just those little words will make you feel better. All right. So um, one other thing actually before I go today is money as a reward. Because if you didn't see last week's video, go back and have a little look. But recap money as a reward it's not the money that's the reward so when you get a promotion at work it's not the money it's what the money buys you and more than that it's not just what it buys you it's actually the feeling you get so money gets you a feeling so create awareness about what the money is doing for you so you don't go wasting money buying something and you don't get the feeling you want because the whole point of this is we want you to be happier so we want the things you get to make you feel good and fulfilled. And why do we want that? We want you to have a happy, easy life and it flows. And then guess what you get to do? You get to do what I do, share it with the world and you can give back to everybody else. But you cannot be giving to any, everybody else if you haven't even given to yourself. So again, I refer to a previous video, you first. Have a little look at that. It explains why you need to put your oxygen mask on first, why you need to focus on you, and then your tank is full, and then you can give out to the world. I hope this video has been really helpful. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and just remember, think about why you've done the behavior, think about what you're getting for it, and reward yourself. You're doing great, you're working hard. So go and have a really, really fun week and I'll see you next week where we're going to talk a little bit more and on to the next step, which will be planning. See you.